Hello, and welcome to Permutations and Combinations. My name is Tuesday J. Johnson. I'm a lecturer at the University of Texas, El Paso, and an assistant professor at Doniana Community College. I don't think I've said it lately, but I love both my jobs. All right, here we go, permutations and combinations. Let's start with some definitions. A permutation of n items is an ordered list. Notice that's bold, bold for a reason, order matters. Ordered list of those items. The number of possible permutations of n items is given by n factorial. Factorial is an exclamation mark. That doesn't mean shout n, which I love to do in front of my students, but I won't do it here. n factorial, so n exclamation mark, is n multiplied by every number lower than it all the way down to 1. All right. Uh, note that factorial is only defined for positive integers, and we take 0 factorial to equal 1. If you want a proof of that, come see me in my office hours or send me an email and we'll talk about why zero factorial is one. In this video, we're going to assume that's true. Because it is. A permutation of n items taken r at a time is an ordered list of r items chosen from a set of n items. The number of permutation of n items taken r at a time is given by this formula, p of n r equals n factorial over n minus r factorial. The example I use most commonly for permutations takes me to the horse, horse racing uh, track. There's six horses posting for the op opener at Sunland Park Racetrack, and you want the permutations for the top three. All right, there are six horses running. You want to pick, win, place, and show. That's the top three. You'll have 6 factorial over 6 minus 3 factorial, but remember factorial is multiplied by every number lower than that. So 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 6 minus 3 is 3. Then I'll do factorial, 3 times 2 times 1, so operation in parentheses first. And then factorial, notice the 3, 2, 1 cancel out. This is the same as 6, 5, 4 being multiplied. What is this really saying? Six horses that are posting for the opening race at Sunland Park. All six of them theoretically have an option of coming in first once that first horse crosses. There are five horses left that could come in second place. Once that second horse crosses, there are four horses that could come in third place. We only care about the top three. So six times five times four. 30 times four is 120 different ways you could pick the trifecta. All right. Fact is, permutations require order. Uh, ask anyone that has ever been in the Olympics. I think uh, silver medalists are more disappointed a lot of times than bronze medalists. Um, order matters, right? What color of medal are you getting? It matters. So when six people start a race, all six have the possibility of coming in first, as we talked about. Once they come in, only five remain, and so on. Um, only three people could come in fourth place. Only two people could have the option of coming in fifth. And always there has to be one that's last. But when order does not matter, right? Maybe we're using a committee. We just want a group of people to do something. It doesn't matter who's first, second, and so on. The number of combinations of n items taken r at a time is given by c of n comma r. Notice the only difference in the formula is this little r factorial. This period is due to the end of the sentence. This has nothing to do with the math. n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. And this r factorial in the denominator eliminates repeated combinations. So for permutations, a, b, and c is different than b, a, c, right? Order matters. Or c, b, a, that's different too. But for combinations, it doesn't matter. It's a committee. Uh, Abel, Bob, and Cain are all in the committee. It doesn't matter who was chosen first, second, or third, whatever, they're in a committee. So order doesn't matter. This R factorial will get rid of all the different ways that we could put those in a particular order. Here we go. Let's just do some examples first of all, using factorial. 10 factorial over 8 factorial. If you wanted to, you could write all the numbers down. Uh, 10 multiplied by everything less than it, down to 1. Same thing for 8, but really what is that? That uh, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, they cancel out. That's just 10 times 9, 90. If I am finding the permutations of 8 items taken 3 at a time, 
always big number, little number. This is what you have, this is how many you want. So, and that's for permutations and combinations. It's always have, comma, want. Yes, that says want. And it could be P or C, doesn't matter. It's always have, comma, want. That's ugly, but we're gonna go with it. So I have eight horses in the race. I want the top three, that's eight factorial over eight minus three factorial. Eight minus three is, of course, five. Eight factorial over five factorial. I know five and everything lower is gonna get canceled out. So that's eight times seven times six. 336 different ways eight horses are running, you could have the top three. But now, you want the combinations of 11 things that you have taken nine at a time. So I just want K, uh, C for combinations. I think of it as a committee where everyone's equal or chaos. A friend of mine said that he remembers combinations are chaos and it doesn't matter the order, whatever works for you. So that'll be 11 factorial over nine factorial times 11 minus nine factorial. I'll do the 11 minus nine first and get two. Now notice this nine factorial that's going to take care of 9 and everything below it in my 11 factorial. And you might write it like this. 11 factorial equals 11 times 10 times 9 factorial. Because then in your denominator, 9 factorial, 2 factorial, your 9 factorial is just going to cancel out. And you'll have your 2 factorial left 9 factorials canceling out, and I have 11 times 10 over 2 times 1. That's 110 divided by 2. 55 different ways you can make a committee of 9 people, given that you have 11 to start with. The probability, the permutations of 11 things taken 9 at a time. That's 11 factorial divided by 11 minus 9 factorial, so that's 11 factorial over 2 factorial, so that's 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, because all I did is cancel out the 2 and the 1. And that's a fairly large number. On graphing calculators, frequently you will use, you will put in 11, and then you'll go to math, and then you'll go to probability, and then you'll choose N, P, R, and then you'll put in the 9, and then you'll hit enter, and it'll give you your value desired. Now, similarly, you have NCR as an option if you want to use your calculator to do this. The combinations of 10 things taken one at a time, that's 10 factorial, divided by 10 minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial. But 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 factorial divided by 9 factorial, that just leaves me with 10, uh, divided by 1, 10. Uh, this says if you have 10 objects and you want to choose one, how many different ways can you do that? A 10, because there's 10 objects and I only want one. Don't overthink it. How many three letter sets use the letters of B O G E Y at most once? Sets were just a collection, right? Combinations. I have one, two, three, four, five letters. I want three sets, so combinations. C of 5 comma 3 is 10 different combinations. However, if I want three letter sequences, like say on a license plate for your car, I'm using the letters of B, O, G, E, Y at most once each. Since it's a sequence, it tells us to use permutations. I have five letters. I want three. Order matters. So there's 20 different ways that I could choose the letters using permutations where order matters. Now let's talk about marbles. A bag contains three red marbles, two green marbles, one purple marble, two yellow, hard to see, and two orange marbles. How many possible sets of four marbles are there? So first of all, sets. We use combinations. We have three red, two green, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total marbles. We have ten. We want four. So that's the combinations of ten things taken four at a time. Remember if you're doing the work by hand, that's ten factorial over four factorial 
times 10 minus 4 factorial, which is a 10 factorial, over 4 factorial, 6 factorial, which is 10, 9, 8, 7, because we know everything else is going to cancel. The 6 factorial cancels out. We have 4, 3, 2, and 1. This a 4 and 3. Nah, the 4 and 2 cancel the 8. The 6 factorial cancels out. 3 goes into 9 3 times. Look at that. 3 times 7 is 21 times 10 gives us 210. So if you write it down by hand, these are not difficult to do uh, without a calculator. But if you have a calculator, I would encourage you to learn how to use it. It is faster. But you have to know if your number makes sense. If you get an answer like 13,000, you, you have to understand that that can't be possible. So a bag contains three red marbles, two green marbles, one purple marble, two yellow marbles, and two orange marbles. The same 10 marble bag that we had on the last slide. How many sets, sets, combinations, of four marbles include all the red ones? So set is combinations. I know I'm going to use combinations. I want all the red ones. So all the red, there are three red marbles. But I want a set of four, so I have to have one other one to make a set of four. So I'm going to be specific. In terms of reds, I have three reds. I want all three of them in combinations. And then, so I multiply, out of the seven marbles that remain that are not red, I want one. Half comma want. C of three comma three is one. C of seven comma one is seven. One times seven is seven. All right, so we have three red, we want three red. We have seven others, we want one other. Seven different ways in this bag of marbles I can get all the red. Basically I get three red on the first green marble, or three red in the second green marble, or three red in the purple marble, or and so on. A bag contains the same marbles that we had before. How many sets of four marbles, so I want a total of four, include none of the red ones? No red means we have three red ones, but we want zero. Ten marbles in the bag, so we have seven others that are not specifically marked out, right, red ones, and we want four of those. So out of the reds, the only thing that's being specified here, we have three, we want zero. And then, so multiplied, we have seven other marbles, and we want four of those, four that are not red. So that's one times 35, which is 35 different ways that we could have no red marbles when we draw four at random in a set. Last example of this type in this situation. We'll see some more of these in our uh, uh, next go around when we talk about par uh, probability. How many sets of four marbles include one of each color other than purple? Uh, I'm the only girl I know that doesn't like purple, so I don't want any purple marbles. It's being specific about each color, so I'm going to take this and break it down. I'm going to look at red, I'm going to look at green, purple, yellow, and orange individually. So with the reds, I have three, I want one. And then, so multiply, sets, right, so combinations, I have two green marbles, I want one. And then, so multiply, sets, so combinations, I have one purple, but I don't want that, right? I don't want any purple. And then combinations, because I want a set. I have two yellow, I want one. Hard to see, I realize that, but that's a two comma one. And then the sets, two orange marbles that I have, I want one. Notice, if I add three and two and one and two and two, that's my total of 10 marbles that I have, I've taken care of all of them. If I add one and one and zero and one and one, that takes care of the four marbles that I want. So all of the numbers in the first coordinate have to add up to the total that I have. All the numbers in the second coordinate have to add up to the total that I want. Now we do the individuals. Uh, three comma one combinations of three comma one is three. Combinations of two comma one is two in all three instances. And if I have one purple marble, but I don't want it, there's only one way that can happen. Don't take it. 
And when I multiply 3 times 2, I get 6. Times 1 is still 6. Times 2 is 12. And then times another 2 is 24. So 24 different ways I could reach randomly into this bag of marbles, grab 4, and not have any purple, but have one of each color. Alright, we will be doing more of these in the coming weeks. Thanks for listening.